And the mass shooting in Uvalde, Texas and Buffalo have reignited debates about solutions to prevent these killings. Alex Love spoke to a local pro-gun rights group and social justice activist in Rochester. He joins us now live with more details on how current New York gun laws impact public safety. Alex. Well, Isabel, in times like these, the Shooters Committee on Political Education, also known as SCOPE, signed on to a lawsuit taking a New York State concealed carry law to the Supreme Court, arguing there are already too many gun control policies in place, not allowing law-abiding citizens to protect themselves. More guns mean or means less crime. Chairman of the Wayne County Chapter of SCOPE, Don Smith took issue with current New York State gun laws creating what he calls gun-free zones, making grocery stores like Tops in Buffalo and schools easy targets for shooters to kill people with no way of defending themselves. If there had been a handgun uh, owned and in the possession of several of those shoppers that day, would the outcome have been different? I think it would have made a difference. Following mass shootings in Buffalo and Uvalde, Texas, Governor Kathy Hochul is calling for raising the minimum age to buy an AR-15 in New York to 21, while adding red flag laws to the books. Smith, however, points to strict gun laws like the SAFE Act already in place, but didn't stop Peyton Gendron from carrying out his attack in Buffalo. It affected about 55 different laws in the state, but the point is that didn't stop that shooter in Buffalo, did it? What that tells us, it tells me at least, is that there are certain individuals that are not going to be affected by these laws. That's why they're called criminals. Rochester has not experienced any mass shootings so far this year, but is coming off its deadliest year in history with 81 homicides. Social justice activists like Mike Johnson with Save Rochester link this to a mental health crisis Americans in urban communities face and don't see more access to guns helping. Helping the public to create a narrative for, for guns in the community, the role of guns in the community. So having those gun violence forums, having interventions where we can uh, teach kids about how dangerous and lethal guns can be. If you would like to get a concealed carry permit in the state of New York right now, you are required to establish a proper cause to why you need it on top of paying a lot of processing fees. This is the type of law that SCOPE is trying to get struck down right now in the Supreme Court. They expect to get a ruling on it come fall. Live in Rochester, Alex Love, News 8.